Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today I've got a super special episode of Clash Royale for you guys. Of course, we're gonna get into some crazy battles, but first, I've got some really special news to share with you guys. My esports team, Tribe Gaming, as you can see right here, was actually selected as one of eight teams to compete in the North American Clash Royale League, which is the new Clash Royale esports league. I'm so stoked. Unfortunately, you know, I'm too bad to be a player. I don't hit enough rockets. I place my expos too badly to be selected for a team but my team will be competing and overall it's going to be super exciting we've got some of the biggest teams in esports joining such as tsm cloud nine you've got Fnatic, as well as our friends team queso over in europe and overall i'm super excited for clash royale esports obviously i'm waiting for that next big clash royale update which i think will be this month with clan wars but we'll see what comes out of that but overall clash royale esports is going to be amazing if you guys haven't followed Tribe Gaming already, make sure you guys follow us. It's going to be super awesome as we compete against some of the other best teams inside of the entire world. I've got our Twitter in the description. I've got our YouTube in the description. And our players are ridiculously good. I, I can't wait till you guys see the upcoming Clash Royale season. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we can make you guys proud. It's going to be cool. OJ is also a part of Tribe. I know he's doing his announcement video today. Uh, overall, it's just a really, really exciting time. And uh, we could really use your support as we try to win yet another world championship, this time over in Clash Royale. All right. That'll do it for that. I'm super excited about Clash Royale League. I'll keep you guys posted with more info about that. You know, I'll, I'll be at different matches uh, when they go down, etc., etc. But let's just go ahead and get into a couple of battles right now. I'm going to be using this Sparky Rage Spell deck that I showed you guys the other day, and I actually want to see if we can pick up some more wins. I've been winning a decent amount using this deck. I talked to one of my pro players on Tribe Tintu, and he actually said the deck wasn't that bad. I don't know if we're going to be playing this deck inside of the Clash Royale League, but it is something I wanted to show you guys. And uh, let's see if we can pick up some more wins using this deck. It's pretty, pretty dang fun. But yeah, Clash Royale League is going to be awesome. If you guys watched Clash Royale Esports last year, um, Clash, Royale e Clash Royale Esports was all on an individual basis. So basically it was player versus player. There was nothing really... Um, what is it? Nothing really team-based about it, but you just had players taking on other players and uh, eventually you know, the best player won. But with this year, they really wanted to make it a team-focused effort for Clash Royale. So you're going to be seeing 1v1. You're even going to be seeing competitive 2v2. If you guys have seen the Clash Royale League in China, they've actually been experimenting with competitive 2v2, which is a little bit absurd. Uh, but yeah, I I'm really excited to see how it goes down. You know, we might even see a couple of Sparky Rage Spell decks. And since our opponent did actually end up using his Poison Spell, we're going to get our, our Minion Horde down. Tesla's going to go down way far back, guys. So we should be able to do something with this. Oh, but he does have Ice Spirit. That's not very fun. I'm going to rage this. Let's see what happens. Rage Bell is going to go down. Minions are running towards those archers. Uh, I should have played that Rage Bell like half a second earlier, and I think we would have done way more damage, but still, I'm happy with the result. Let's see if we can keep this up. And if we get to double Elixir, I th or if we get to one tower down to one tower down, I definitely think we're going to win this game. All right, let's do this. Guys, I'm, I'm having my tryout right now for the Clash Rally. No, I didn't get 20 wins, so unfortunately, I'm, in I'm ineligible to play. Sad times all around. Ah, bad, gr bad Elixir collector placement. I played it so I can give him poison value, which is a little bit sad. Goblin Gang is going to go down. I think one of my Spear Goblins is going to stay outside of this, which is nice. But still, we're going to take a lot of damage right here, guys. That was a really, really bad play for me. Unfortunate stuff. And Tower is now down at a crippling low amount of HP. But once again, guys, we're going to go ahead and throw down the Giant. We're going to throw down the Minion Horde. He's going to throw down his Tesla once again, guys. We'll get our Rage Spell rolling on in. Some minions will live throughout all of that. His archers will get decimated this time with an early enough Rage Spell. That's going to be the end of tower number one once again. And we're looking so good as we go into the rest of this game because he simply is going to have a really tough time dealing with, uh, you know, basically the fact that we've, we've taken down that first tower. Now he's going to really struggle um, when it comes to putting in some work. Ugh. I, I'm really sad about putting out these goblin gangs, but I feel like I sort of have to. I guess I'll get my wizard down right now. I should have played it up higher, though, to defend against these guards. I did get one hit on the guards right there, but that was a little bit disappointing. I'm going to go ahead and get ready with our giant again. I know that, you know, he knows and I know that, you know, he doesn't have his poison spell in rotation. So let's see if he can cycle to it quickly enough. We're going to go ahead and get our minions down. We're going to get our rage spell down. We're getting everything rolling in. Giant just locked on right there. Dark Prince is going to go down right here. Poison spell coming down defensively. It's going to come out in time. Dark Prince and Goblin Gang is still running forward though 117 hp left but wait guys he doesn't have enough to take out our tower on the other lane he just needs to play his graveyard again i think but he doesn't have the hp to get this done 117 hp that poison spell is ticking away is it going to be enough 
Oh, it will. He's just barely going to cycle to that in time, guys. But since the poison spell's out of rotation, we got to throw him to GG well played because that minion horde is about to destroy everything he's worked so hard for. And that's going to be the end of the game. Nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that dub right there. We found out our win condition, bait out that poison spell, go in for the minion horde, sparky rage spell. We didn't even play our sparky all game, guys. That's a little bit sad, but we're going to end up taking that win. Not bad. All right. Not bad for our first... Our first match as a CRL team owner, not necessarily a CRL pro. Let's get into match number two. Let's do this. Supreme, Hog Rider 2.6. I wonder what deck he's playing. If he's playing Hog Rider, we've got some decent cards we can throw against it. I'm really scared to actually play my Elixir Collector first just because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Having Minion Horde is my only defensive card sad. He's going to zap it because he doesn't really have another play to make. He's actually going to go in for his Elixir Collector right now, which is a little bit interesting. I guess I'll go for our Giant at the bridge. Let's see what he does to counter this Giant. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Giant's gonna keep on running forward. I'm gonna play Minion Horde finally. Hopefully he doesn't have Fireball or I'm gonna cry. Oh, he's got Tornado, but does he have Zaps? Definitely not in rotation yet. Lumberjack's doing its best. Rage Bell's going down, Baby Dragon's going down too, but the minions are gonna get so much damage against that tower. All right, not bad at all. I'll definitely take that right there. Hopefully he plays something. He's definitely playing a Golem deck. Um, that's sort of obvious by now, but I'm gonna go ahead and get our Sparky down in the very back. I feel a little bit nasty playing that Sparky. I just don't, uh, playing a naked Sparky like that without something clear to play in front of it. Okay, he's going to play his Night Witch. Obviously, though, he's setting up to a throw down with his, um, with his Golem, I think. I'm going to get our Giant down. He actually played another Elixir Collector. That's just showing no respect to me as the Chief. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure our Sparky blasts everything up. Wizard's putting in some work against this Minion or Mega Minion, guys. Looks like everything's going in. Sparky's going to go ahead and charge up and decimate this tower. He's simply overcommitted with that Elixir Collector. And guess what? We're going to keep pushing with this Sparky. We're going to even take out that Elixir Collector before it gets one extra Elixir. Our Sparky's going to lock onto that tower for some serious damage, guys. All right. We're looking pretty solid. He hasn't touched our towers quite yet and he's gonna play another elixir collector this guy simply wants to decimate us with these elixir collectors wow uh, he's really lucky we don't have any direct damage inside of this deck wait do we really not have any direct damage that's actually super troll this is gonna be a little bit difficult seeing as he does have so much elixir but let's go and see how we want to get this done golem's gonna be played so far back we can get our sparky down now he played his golem on the wrong side in my opinion he should have gone down the other lane where he did have cover uh, to try to hold back from that golem i'm gonna go ahead and get our dark prince down right here He's got his Mega Minion coming in. I'm actually going to use our Minion Horde. Goblin Gang's going to come down right here. That's sort of fascinating. So we've got to follow up with our Wizard in a moment. Golem is putting in some work right here. Lumberjack's going in. But guys, look at that Chief Pat Kite right there. We're going to take basically zero damage against everything. We just completely ruined this guy's hopes and dreams. And I think that's going to be a GG well played. Golem going down defensively like an animal, guys. we got to Rage Spell this Giant to let this Giant just put in some serious work. Sparky coming down again. The trash can on wheels no more. We're even going to blast down that Night Witch in a moment. Night Witch is going to get destroyed. Oh, man. We're just making so much work out of this push. Meanwhile, our Giant is just completely decimating his tower, guys. And that's going to be the end of the game for a three-crown victory. Sparky Rage. This deck is legit. You guys were telling me that I was trolling inside of the last episode. But that's win number two using this deck. Win number three inside of this challenge. I did win one off camera because this deck is just so much fun to play. Let's get into one more battle and see if we can make Tribe Gaming proud as we take on Wallen from Troll Sport. Oh, no. <laughs> First time I've ever sneezed on camera, guys. That's strange. All right. Let's keep it up. Actually, I think I sneezed once and I put it in slow motion. So maybe I'll put this one in slow motion. We'll see what I do. But now that I said that, I don't know if I can. All right. Let's just get our giant down in the very back. Keep this going. No more sneezes to throw us off. He's going to throw down his P.E.K.K.A., guys, so let's get our Sparky coming in for these sets of, for this set of Zappies. Sparky's going to put in a good amount of work, but the only question is, does he have, like, Electro Wizard? Electro Wizard could be a big problem if we have to deal with it. Flying Machine's going in, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play our Rage Spell. Sparky going to go inside of the Rage Spell. Poison Spell's coming out, but we did end up blasting that P.E.K.K.A. pretty quickly. Our Sparky almost going to get some damage off onto that tower instead. It's going to be a little bit of a wash, but that's fine. Now we can cycle to our Elixir Collector, guys. He's playing this Pekka Zappi's Goblin Huts deck uh, that has the Goblin, or sorry, that has the Poison Spell inside of it. So basically we want to bait out his Poison Spell and that's how we're going to be able to win this game. One way to bait this Poison Spell is the Elixir Collector, but let's see what else he does. I mean, if he has Miner, actually, we've got to be a little bit cautious of that. I'm going to go ahead and get this Goblin Gang down right here. Should be able to clean up that right there. Dark Prince not going down in time. Are you joking me? I swear I played that Dark Prince in time, but just a second worth of Elixir off right there. Dark Prince is going to charge forward. He does have Zappies, though. Uh, Zappies do hard counter Dark Prince because the Dark Prince can only reach the first Zappy with its swing. Actually, wait, what? What in the world just happened right there? That was the cri Oh, I didn't mean to play it on that side. All right, well, we're going to have our Pekka down right here. He still has Poison Spell, so this is... 
This is not looking too fun for us, guys. I'm going to get our Sparky down. Wow. Okay, Goblin Hut uh, is an obvious play from him. Um, the only problem is our support card to the Sparky is either Wizard or um, Minion Horde, and both of these are going to die fairly easily when it comes to this Poison Spell. But let's go for an aggressive push right now, guys. Rage Spell coming in. You know the Poison Spell's coming, but the Rage Spell will give our minions enough time to blast down that Goblin Hut. Looks like the Sparky's going to get to that P.E.K.K.A. right there, but now the Giant's going to have to put in some serious work. I'm actually going to play an Elixir Collector. This is pretty risky moves right here. We're going to just bank on the fact that we can destroy this P.E.K.K.A. with ease. I'm going to get our Goblin Gang going down here. Goblin Gang going to do a fantastic job. We've got our Mega... Oh, Dark Prince just barely going to... Wait, oh, I got baited by that Miner right there. Oh, that P.E.K.K.A. is going to beat us down right there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And I missed my Giant. Oh, no. Get that P.E.K.K.A. off the tower. Oh, I got baited right there. That Miner. Well played from that Miner, good sir. He just... I think he just won the game with that Miner right there. That's... That's sad times. Our giant that we had to play in front of the P.E.K.K.A. we didn't want to play, guys. This is looking like it's going to be a loss, unfortunately. Uh, one mistake really put us down in the dumps. I'm going to get our minion horde ready right now for this uh, right here. We've got our goblin gang in a moment, ready, getting ready for this push. Oh, we're going to decimate everything in that push. That was pretty good. I'm going to get our elixir collector down. He just played his poison spell, guys, which bodes really well for us. Um, that means we can just go ahead and be pretty aggressive with the rest of our plays. Wizard going to go down in a moment for this uh, for this right here. I've got our Dark Prince for this Miner. We're going to catch that Miner, guys. Beautifully played to catch that Miner. All right, we're, we're alive. We're definitely alive right now. We're holding on by the hairs of our Chinny Jin Chin. I'm going to get our Sparky ready for this Royal Ghost. Wow, we're actually going to be able to kill that Royal Ghost with our Dark Prince and our Wizard. He's going to play his P.E.K.K.A., guys, so he's seriously going all in right now. Let's get our Goblin Gang coming in. Wow, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, this is actually... Oh, wait, I know what I want to do. We're going to throw down our giant. We're going to throw down our minion horde, guys. Can we stop this P.E.K.K.A. with the Sparky? Oh, we're going to be able to stop the P.E.K.K.A. with the Sparky. Dark Prince going to be able to stop that right there. But our minions died to the... Oh, my. The minions died to the... Are you joking me? I didn't think our minions would die to that at all. But our giant's running in right now. We've got our wizard on this side, guys. But I think that's going to be... Wait. We're so close. We're so close. 226 HP. He has to throw another miner down. He has to throw another miner down. Everything's going forward. He has to throw a miner. Rage spell's coming in. It's going to be close. Oh, <laughs> we're going to take the win with 10 HP left. GG, well played. Woo. Pekka against our giant. And we ended up picking up that dub right there, guys. Now, that's a beautiful victory, if I do say so myself. Again, managing when he plays his poison spells, the number one thing inside of this deck. And a 4-0 and zero start with a sparky rage spell deck is definitely the way to kick off the Clash Royale League announcement for Tribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please follow Tribe Gaming in the description below on Twitter, on YouTube. Make sure you root us on inside of the Clash Royale Esports League coming up uh, in August of this year. That's when the league will be starting up, so I hope you guys are excited for that. I hope you guys are excited for the update, hopefully coming out this month. Clan Wars is what everyone's saying it's going to be, so I'm excited for that. Really cool times inside of Clash Royale, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Cool times in Clash Royale and nothing cooler than Sparky Rage while dominating a challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.